Welcome to Kids Church. We're so glad you guys are with us. We are doing a series on creation. Creation. So before we do that, we're going to do a song. Okay? Let's go. Second day. Two. Two. What did God create on the second day? The sky and the water. Sky and water. Three. Three. What did God create? God created the plants. Plants with water. And trees. Yeah. And then on day Three. four. Four. We did last week. We learned about. The sun, the big light is the sun, and the little light is the moon. You created all the stars in the space. So that means today, what is today? Five. Day five. So let's read in Genesis. I knew it. We have five. Day five. That means we're almost we done. One, we did two, we did three, we did four, we did five. Okay, you ready? We did four, now five. Yep. So God said, let the waters swarm with fish and other life. Let the skies be filled with birds of every kind. Bird. Bird. So God created great sea creatures. Sea creatures. And every living thing that and scurries and swarms in the water. water. And, and every sort of bird. And bird. Every thing producing offsprings of the same kind. And God saw that it was good. It was good. He saw that it was good. Then God blessed them and say, Be fruitful and multiply. Let the fish fill the seas and the bird multiply on the earth. Then 
evening passed and morning came. Five. And that was day five. So God was very specific about all the things that he made. Each day had a specific thing, right? Day one, light. Day two, the sky and the waters. And day three, the plants. Day four, the sun and the moon and the stars. And day five is the animals, the fish, and the birds. So if God didn't create the water first, the fish would have nowhere to live. Fish? Yeah, the fish. Where do fish live? Water. In the water, yeah. So if God didn't separate the water first, then the fish would have nowhere to live. If God didn't create the sky, they would have nowhere to live. And the plants, all the plants, mm -hmm. then God, they wouldn't have anything to eat and take care of the earth. So God has a specific plan. And he created, and he created each and every single one to be specific. Do you know how many birds there are in the world? No, there's so many different birds and so many different fish and God created each of them for a different purpose to help the world and to create different things like we can eat fish we can eat birds we can't eat all the fish we can't eat all the birds but then each fish has something to eat each bird has something to eat and everyone works together to make the earth a good place to live in and it was good so we can trust that God is in control and that he didn't just mm -hmm. make all of these random fish and all these random birds for no reason. He had a bigger plan for everything and he has a bigger plan for us. He has a big plan for our lives. He doesn't just throw us on earth when we're born and then leave us. He's there and he walks with us and he gives us a plan for our lives and he helps us to get there and he takes care of us, right? When Jesus... When Jesus was on earth, he said that God takes care of the plants and God takes care of the animals. They don't have to worry about what they're going to wear. Have you ever seen a bird wear a shirt? You've seen a bird wear a shirt. Really? Did you see a fish wear a dress? Yeah. No, that's silly. Because God takes care of them. He, they don't have to worry about what they eat, what they wear, because God takes care of them. And he takes care of us even more than he cares about the fish and the birds and the plants. So we're gonna pray. Dear Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you that you take care of us and that you have a bigger plan for us. Thank you for the fish and the birds and that you take care of the earth. We pray that we will know you more and draw closer to you. In your name we pray, amen. Bye.